Welcome back, everyone. You may know the Utah State flower is the sago lily, and the seagull is the state bird. But did you know Utah also has a state stone? Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> and it was approved in the last legislative session. Fox 13's Todd Tanner explains what it is and where it comes from. It's pretty cool stuff, especially with the light. This is honeycomb calcite. It's a really unusual stone. It formed about 500 million years ago. Below sea level and is now at 10,500 feet in the high Uinas. The only spot in the world where it's found is currently under a blanket of snow. In a dump truck, it's like a good hour and 15 minute drive. The closest town is Hannah, Utah, and that's where you can see about 7 million pounds or so at Shamrock Mining. Owner Rick Stott cuts. Each piece being really unique like that. Slices and sends the stone to faraway customers. Italy, China, different countries all over the world. It gets turned into countertops, tiles. You can pretty much use it in about everything. Rick's wife Jeannie also sells cut carved honeycomb calcite in the shop at the Shamrock Mine. It's considered a semi-precious stone. We make jewelry. I make all the jewelry out of it. No piece is the same. I mean, everybody gets a unique, one-of-a-kind piece. The Stotts say, aside from beauty, some customers seek out the stone for what they believe are healing properties. So it's it's like uh, a good day on the beach. It just, it's real energizing. Aside from only being found in Utah, there is another tie to the Beehive State. When you put a light behind it, it almost looks like warm honey with a beehive. It makes sense then that the beehive in the floor of the state capitals rotunda is a piece of honeycomb calcite. So I guess it's just meant to be. Todd Tanner, Fox 13 News, Utah.